Hello, my name is Tim, and uh, we're here at Rimmer Brothers today. And today I'm going to show you how to fit these dummy uh, bonnet vents to this 2012 Range Rover Evoque. It's one of the more basic models, but that makes it brilliant for these little upgrades. Okay, so the first thing that you're probably going to wonder is, how on earth am I going to get my dummy bonnet vents straight and in the correct position? Well, the answer to that is the, pro the producers of these vents have very kindly given us some templates to work with. Now, this one I haven't cut out yet. This one, using my Blue Peter skills, I have done. And what happens is, you cut along this straight edge and also around this curved edge near the edge of the bonnet, and you line those up so that they're flush and parallel. Once you've cut out the template for your actual bonnet vent itself, you can line that up in the hole. And then, of course, you'd stick it down. Before we do any of that, what I'm going to do is use some panel wipe just to ensure that the bonnet surface is clean and therefore we'll get a good solid stick down to the bonnet itself when we apply the uh, dummy bonnet vents. Okay, now that I've prepared the surface of the bonnet so that it's clean, free of any grime, grease, grit, I mean, you could just wash it and let it dry and it would be perfectly okay. But as I said, I went the little extra mile and just used a bit of panel wipe just to make sure that we get a good contact. Now, what I've done, obviously, I showed you that I cut out the template and I lined it up. But of course, once you've put your template in there, you're going to have to take it off in order to peel the film off. So what I've done just as a little trick is just use some gentle masking tape just to hold the template in place. And then what we'll do is we'll peel off the tape on the back and you'll have to be very careful because you'll only get one shot at this and then what we'll do is we'll gently lower that into place once we've taken the tape off and we'll press down and hold so that it stays in place. Okay, so now as you can see we've fitted the other side as well. Uh, they are handed, so if you have any issues with wondering which side to fit and you just want to be certain, you can refer to our website and there will be a picture on the website of which side each grill is placed and which orientation it should be. So, just we've fitted it now, taken off our template. And what I would advise is it doesn't hurt just to give it a little bit of weight and a little bit of pressure just for a couple of minutes, just until the tack sets and you'll be good.